welcome back to our class my dear students so after a short break we are back to our regular classes so today we are going to learn about debt market and in this chapter we'll be dealing all the components sorry components with debt market and its uh, position in india its position in world level all these type of items will be dealt in this chapter so as an introduction this is an important segment of financial system as debt market and also it is playing a very important role in financial market in case of developed countries not in case of developing and underdeveloped countries but in case of developed developed countries such as america britain etc they are using this debt market debt market as their one of the major financial market instrument and it has also known as fixed income securities market and bond market so these are the other names of debt market and also it will be helping for more market capitalization and it will be playing a important role for efficient functioning of financial system and also as a catalyst and this debt markets are um, which is most used by the central state government for borrowing fund from public and it is used for infrastructure and other purposes of the nation and also this equity and debt market uh, is most popular in asian countries also but more popular is equity market debt market doesn't have that much growth as equity market and also the ma major uh, organizations which are dealing with this debt market are central and state governments municipal corporations government bodies commercial entities like financial institutions banks public sector units public limited companies and structured finance instruments also this debt market is now considered as an alternative route for financing which means that it uh, it plays a role as a financing source so uh, in older days we are we were considering equity market as a source of financing now it has an alternative not now from very beginning it has an alternative but now it has more popularity so the alternative sources debt market and the major debt market instruments are debentures bonds etc and this debt market is high not high risky riskier it is low riskier but the investment is Uh, sorry not investment the profit is very less in case of this debt market compared to equity market as its risk is very less and there will be high liquidity for this uh, debt market instruments and the main type of debt market instruments are government securities yield fund etc t bills etc there which are um, uh, issued by rbi on behalf of our government so this is the brief introduction of debt market i'm sorry that this picture is not that much clear anyway it describes what is debt market debt market is an easy market situation where the trading debt instruments which means that where the uh, debt instruments are traded it is known as debt market and the major debt instruments are bonds commercial papers treasury bills government securities etc and the main participants of debt market are institutional investors government traders and individuals so fixed income securities we are we were already discussed that this debt market is also known as fixed income securities market it is one of the innovative and dynamic instrument which financial market financial system has ever ever seen and its interest and time value of money as more considered in this case it has a spirit of innovation and transformation it has a high volatility in case of growth which means that it not that uh, it has a it has helped financial market with its volatility in nature and also there are a, there are an essential component of any portfolio of financial and real assets which means that if you are considering any portfolio there will be a part such as debt in every portfolio it is preferred item and also the um it has a 
uh, another way of interest giving and repayment of principal at maturity of the instrument. The debt securities are issued by the eligible entities against the money borrowed by them from the investor in these instruments, which means that debt securities will be uh, issued by some eligible entities, which means it can be a government organization, it can be a public sector company, any, anything. So they will be issuing the uh, fixed income security or debt security and individuals or investors will be buying these securities. In that case, they will be the individual will be paying an amount to this company. So actually this company or the issuing agency is borrowing money from the investor and for that borrowed amount they are giving this debt instrument. So this is what happening in debt market as every market functions okay and therefore this debt securities will be will have having a fixed charge on the asset of the entity which means that there will be a fixed rate of interest and generally enjoy a reasonable degree of safety by way of security of the fixed and movable assets of the company so there will be a reasonable degree of safety for the, for what we are buying this debt and also you should understand that it is a simple concept that here the issuer will be giving a fixed interest rate to the investor for the money borrowed by them or in case of investors that is not borrowed money that is the money they have invested in a debt instrument but in case of issuer it is, some, it is the money which is borrowed from the investor for this um, debt instrument so there will be a fixed rate of interest that's why it is known as fixed income securities and will be giving a fixed income so there will be a fixed charge <coughs> and features of an efficient debt market as a competitive market structure so it will be having a competitive market structure and it will be a long-term debt market and also it offers certainty of returns certainty of return means it will be happened okay there is no uncertainty there is un no unforeseenable things that is forecasted and low transaction cost will be there high level of heterogeneity among uh, participants will be there and also it will be helping for reducing borrowing cost of the government because it will be issued for very not very but moreover less interest rate and also it will be enhancing for fund mobilization and this fund will be used for economic development and the most important attractive investment opportunities regarding its safety of money invested adequate liquidity will be there and it will be a, in a flexible portfolio it will be easily monitored and also it has long-term reliability and if you are coming to the functions of debt market it helps to mobilize and allocate resources of the economy the resources of economy will be mobilized and it should be allocated it will be allocated to the resources it will be allocated to certain areas which it, it has the need of money and also it helps to finance the de development activities of the government and facilitating liquidity management as we know that this government is borrowing money from the public for nation's development itself so there will be developmental activities going on through this debt market instruments the money gained from this debt market and also that it will be enhancing enhancing investor to get a liquid management system so there will be facilitating team liquidity management and also volatile growth of the financial market there will not be a stagnant growth there will be a volatile growth if there is a efficient debt market in a nation also it provide better return to investors even though the interest rate is less the risk is also less so they can ensure the maximum return of that interest rate okay there will not be any delay in proceeding that in a particular mentioned interest rate there will not be any problem regarding that because it is moreover under government control and benefits the investors benefit by investing in fixed income securities as they preserve and increase their invested capital it ensures receipt of regular interest income 
the amount will be in invested in a particular area of that market and they will be getting a regular interest income if it is invested for 8 percentage interest they will be getting that 8 percentage regularly without any delay and also default risk will risk is default which means that moreover we are investing in government securities or risk-free investments so there will not be any risk factor in this debt market and prices will be uh, prices will be a low or uh, lower average volatility which means that high fluctuations in prices will not be there in debt market most of more in most cases it will be stable and next one is it is uh, an wide based and efficient portfolio diversification can be enabled through this debt market and also it will be assisting portfolio risk mitigation portfolio risk mitigation means a portfolio should be a profit earning also a risk lesser risk here which means that this portfolio should contain um, certain shares of profit earning companies also uh, highly growth companies lower risk care companies like that it should be arranged the risk should be managed well in case of portfolio of some company fall down also the investor should not have any risk so it is it is meant by portfolio risk mitigation and this debt securities enable wide based and efficient portfolio diversification so if there is debt securities there will be a wide based portfolio formation which can be happened and also diversification can be also done as you know that diversification means it is selecting prior components and also different component components for portfolio so these are the benefits and debt market in india these market are important source of funds especially in developing economy like india debt in the debt market is one of the largest in asia and it has traditionally been wholesale market in participation restricted to few institutional buyer bankers in short it means that our nation is one of the largest debt market as one of the largest debt market in asia it is use we are using this debt market but not that much we are using it okay and also it is considered as a sub substitute or alternative route of finance for uh, our nation other than this banking channels and it has a unique feature that is it is its return is fixed okay also it is almost risk free so the unique features of debt markets of indian debt market are its return is fixed and also it is risk free and this fixed return or this which we have already told that that amount that term will be called as coupon rate or interest rate in our nation so fixed return is known as coupon fixed return that term that interest term is known as coupon rate or interest rate and therefore buyer is giving the seller a loan at a fixed interest rate which equals to the coupon rate the debt market in india compresses of two categories and there is two categories first one is government securities which consists of central government and state government securities and second one is corporate bond market so there is two components or two main classification for Indian debt market. First one is government securities and the second one is corporate bond market. So in order to finance its physical deficit, the government flowed fixed income secure instruments and borrows money by using government securities that are so many securities issued by the RBI on behalf of government of India. So in this case, this government is our government, state government, whether it is state or central government, is issuing this uh, government securities, and it is issued by RBI, not by government, but it is, it is issued by RBI, but it is issued for our government, and it is issued for uh, undertaken for uh, undertake uh, development programs. Of the nation and also to finance physical deficit if there is any physical deficit it should be adjusted so for that adjustment they will be using this government loads fixed income instruments 
<coughs> like that and also this corporate bond market it, it consists of financial institution bonds public sector unit bonds corporate bonds debentures etc so these are the two classifications of debt market in india and the major participants of debt market are central and state market primary dealers they are market makers who is appointed by RBI and have emerged as active intermediaries. They are intermediaries, primary dealers are intermediaries of government securities and uh, also money market and they are appointed by RBI. Public sector undertakings are that these institutions will be issuing tax-free taxable bonds to meet their long-term requirements and working capital needs if they have working capital needs or they have long term requirement they will be using this public sector bonds uh, or tax free bonds corporates are the they are the issuers and investors of debt market they will be issuing a debt instrument they will be investing in debt instruments banks are their mutual funds insurance companies foreign institutional investors provident funds and pension funds, charitable institutions and trust. These are the major participants in debt market. And classification of debt market which we have started in this and here we are going to continue it. So this government securities, it consists of central and uh, state government securities. Here the loan is taken by the central and state government from the public, from the debt market and it is also leading category in Indian debt market. It is our most dominant category of debt market in India. It will be helping for market capitalization. It sets a benchmark for the rest of market and it is issued by RBI on a yield basis or price based which means that a bid for the coupon payable is there also a bond with fixed coupon will be there. So it, it will be an auction basis or it will be on a fixed basis and the ocean can be uh, either a multiple price there will be multiple price or there will be a uniform price it depends okay and also in India face value of this government security will be 100 and it is issued by RBI and it is issued for government of India and there will be a open rate interest rate and the tenure of this government security will be from 5 years to 30 years and also it can be changed according to the uh, system okay so these are the main components which is dealing with government securities and issuing process of this government securities are it is uh, a non-competitive bidding facility for retail investors uh, in, G, uh, in government securities g securities to which non-competitive bids will be allowed up to five percentage of notified amount in the a specified options of retail securities at the same time RBI can sell or buy securities in open market operations. So there are two methods for non-competitive bidding facilities are there for retail investors and also non-competitive bids are allowed to keep five percentage of notified amount in specified option of dated securities and other method is to deal in open market operations and it covers repos as well as um, as well and are used for RBI to manipulate short term liquidity and uh, buy interest rates to decide level. So it covers this open market operations covers repo rate and also the short term liquidity adjustments etc. And the other type of government securities include inflation linked bonds, zero coupon bonds, state government securities, state loans, debt markets are assets that require a fixed payment to the holder usually with interest. So it is a uh, debt market is an instrument where the issuer should give a particular rate of interest to the investor for the amount which they have invested. And investors of government securities in India. This um, government securities is uh, more than 60% of transaction in wholesale debt market. The banks are major and capital investor base for government securities as they are normally required to maintain 25% of their net time and demand 
liabilities as SLR. So banks are the most used, banks are most using this debt market. And also the majority of banks are normally investing 10 to 15 percent in their government securities. But it is not that much, okay. And the uh, reasons for it, for investing in this government securities are risk-free. They are risk-free in nature and they have return compared to other comparable nature investments and advantage of investing in government securities are the it is government security so it have an authenticity first one is that so if it has a sovereign guarantee and also it has a safety because it is issued by our government and the volatility will be very less the uh, changes happening, the fluctuations happening with debt market instrument will be very less. And also it has uh, a greater, greater returns compared to conventional safe investment. Okay. So safe investment means bank deposit and all. So this uh, government securities will be providing more interest than bank deposits, fixed deposit, credit risk, etc. <clears throat> not credit risk though they also contain credit risk okay higher leverage greater borrowing capacity against g securities due to their zero risk factors so it has higher leverage and wider range of innovations in nature of securities better and greater features to suit a large range of investment profiles and investor requirements it has high range of investment profile wide range of innovations is happening in this session and higher leverages there and growing liquidity it has higher liquidity and there will not be any tds so no tds on interest payment it is an attractive point for those who are concerned with tax payments <clears throat> and finally we reach a new topic bond bond market it consists of financial institutional bonds, corporate bonds, debentures, public sector bonds, etc. It is issued to meet financial requirements and at a fixed cost and hence remove uncertainty in financial cost, which means that it is issued for, for meeting the financial requirements of the issuer and there will be a fixed cost as we said earlier. And also, like that, it removed financial cost also. And after adopting liberalization policy in 1992, this the bond market in, in India has been transformed very well. And opening up of the financial market at a present has influenced several foreign investors holding up to 30% of the financial in form of fixed income to invest in bond market in India, which means that the investment rate and bond market is increasing and there is a high diversity in our bond market so it is more attractive to other investors also and this fund is used for infrastructure development expansion of government government plans not government expansion of governmental activities etc infrastructure development will be there major problems of will be solved through this um, bond market and sometimes unavailability of funds are playing a crucial role for large organization so they can also issue this a debt market instrument like that they can also solve their problems so it is the functions of debt mark bond market in india and it has huge opportunity in our nation even though our equity market is more popular than bond market in india by the way it will be increasing okay and uh, different type of bond market in India are corporate bond market, mutual bond market, government and agency bond market, funding bond market, mortgage bank and collateral, debt organ obligation bond market. So these are the five bond market dealing in our nation. So later we will be studying it in detail. And thank you my, my dear students.